<sighs> Hi everybody in the world. I hope you are doing good. I'm sitting here in the sun of South Africa, middle of winter. Blue sky, lekker warm. And yeah, I would like to tell you a bit more about myself, about my life. Because it was very, very exciting and all about motorcycles. My whole life is about motorcycles. I started on a 250 BMW R6, rattling and deadling in the 70s. Got cigarette, bought a new BMW R70 5, and yeah, then we start riding every motorcycle rallies, get rock and drunk and fuck around and we were wild, you know, and you have to, you, 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 you just keep going and you go every week at the whole year. So sometimes I made a hundred thousand kilometers in one year. Uh, traveling Europe to all the racing weekends in England. Germany and Austria in Switzerland, uh, just everywhere the Suzuki and stuff like that. We were just uh, amazed from all this life. Europe is not enough. After that, uh, I went to uh, Africa, you know, going through uh, Holland, in uh, Belgium, Frankreich, France, you know, Spain. Set over met a ferry to Morocco, go to Algeria, go to Tunis, set over met a ferry to Italy, Sicilia, then drive to Italy, and then Austria, and then back to Germany. It was a real adventure, it was fantastic, and uh, we had a good time. Uh, but it was not enough for me, you know, it was just not enough. And uh, I wanted to go further. So uh, I bought uh, the first BMW 1200 GS, the first one who came on the market, put it back in the box, sent it to Miami, Florida, the US, jump on, riding from the East Coast to the West Coast, go to Mexico, I, drove the, I rode the Baja California, the desert. And then back California, up north, way up north in the Rocky Mountains. Uh, my name is Reno, so I had to go to that town in Nevada, Reno. Yeah, gambling town. It was Switzerland. That's it. And I had Germany on my saddlebags, so everybody knew this guy comes from Germany. So they stopped me on the highway and they said, "Come on, follow me. You are my guest." Great time. Back to Germany, work a bit. I done a lot of swap meets, you know. I had a four and a half ton truck with parts from old bikes, vintage bikes. And I sold that, I made a lot of money with that and uh, yeah, made good friends. After that, I went to Australia, you know, and uh, it's a big country. So I went there, I bought a 650 Yamaha Mitchafry, 6J. It was an old piece of shit, but this bikes, this four cylinder, they run forever. They don't have to change, you know. So I bought that one for Germany. And I went on an eight month tour. I made 48,000 kilometers on that bike. And then I realized, okay, this is, this is too big. That country is too big. You have to stay here for a while to see everything. So I immigrated there and brought my Harley Davidson over from Germany. And um, I got a base in Maryborough, Queensland. It's about 260 kilometers from Brisbane. I opened a tattoo studio because that's my business. And yeah, riding, riding, riding. See the country in five years, you know. People gave me a hard time to, uh, to get in the bike club, to get in, in with the things and stuff like that because they are my customers so that's what I did and after five years I had enough I was cigarette 
And after five years, I know, I know the culture, the language, what they eat, what they drink, how they think, what religion, and so on and on and on. So I'm losing interest. And from there, I went to Paraguay, South America. Same thing. Open a tattoo studio, buy a house. That time I had that money, you know. And uh, yeah, Paraguay is lawless at that time. So we could do whatever we want to do, so long as you got the money on the table. A lot of drugs going around and stuff like that. And uh, we, I, I built a biker club, uh, was called Latin Bikers. We had a lot of fun, and the girls in Paraguay are just amazing. You know? And the population is seven to one. There are seven times more women than men. So, oh la la. I tell you what, mi amor, it was a great time. After that, yeah, back to Germany for a while and uh, opened a tattoo studio over there. Made a lot of money, you know, tattooing is just a big thing till, till today. And I had, uh, I made a lot of money and, and uh, I had a wonderful farmhouse what I rebuilt and, and it was great, and in the end, I I went. I must really say that I was uh, getting arrogant because of all that money in my pocket. And it's a dangerous job, this tattooing, you know, because you get arrogant and you work too much. And, and uh, in the end, I had just enough, and I I saw it coming with the political situation in Germany. I saw it coming. Uh, I feel ashamed today what what happened to this country. You know? So I left for South Africa. I was here before, 10, 15 years ago. I bought uh, old cars and old bikes from the 40s, even from the 30s, from the 40s and 50s. Just everything I could get, put them in the 40-foot container, buff, back to Bremerhaven in Germany, Sold the shit, you make 250, 300% profit. Today, forget it, it doesn't work anymore. Internet fucked everything up. Everybody knows how much it's worth anywhere in the world, and so sometimes they ask you more than, than in Europe. Yeah, that was a great time. Had a very bad accident in Paraguay on my Harley Davidson. Very bad. Uh, on the highway, in the middle of the street, there was a pickup truck parking with no lights, no reflection lights. It was pitch dark, and I ran into it with 140 k's an hour. I nearly died there, and no, no uh, ambulance is coming. You know, they had to throw me on the pickup truck, and they drove me to the nearest hospital, and they had no equipment at all. They just had a warm blanket for me. And then friends came and they brought me to the right hospital and I got an operation and I got a lot of metal in my leg now. And uh, yeah, it's not easy, this life. But anyway, I don't give up, you know. I'm just not giving up. I give a shit about that belongs to it. I got already nearly one million kilometers on my ass. Then I came back to here to South Africa. I bought a farm, 25 hectare with three houses on it. I opened a backpackers, a new experience, what I never ever do again. It was awful, it was bad. Yeah, people steal, they break things, and they are dirty, they smoke in the rooms, they burn the blankets, the away, whatever, so uh, no. I keep it up with that six years long to get, you know, to get out of this hole. Then the the pandemic came, so I sit there one and a half year alone on this farm in the bush. Nearly no contact. It drove me nearly crazy. You know, I sometimes I think I hang myself. It was that bad. But uh, no, the angels me and they gave me power again and I sold that place 
Now I'm living here at uh, Otterley German Bar and Restaurant and I got a little apartment there for rent. I bought this wonderful old Ural tourist and um, I made some test rides here, 1,280 kilometers. No problem with that bike because it's winter, you know. I am a bit scared about the heat when it comes to that, but it's winter now, so. Yeah, that's a bit of my life, you know. I have a son, his name is Craig, he lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It didn't go very well with his mom, so we gave that up. Uh, two children in Australia, Scott and Kelly. I didn't make them. But they live with me 16 years and I teach them well and today they are telling me, Reno, you were the best father you could be. So that makes me a bit proud, you know. I'm turning in October, 70 years old, young. And I want to do more. My ass is burning and I want with this Ural, what is from 2011, I want to uh, visit the African countries. I crossed the Sahara two times already. One time with a bike, one time with a car, truck. Uh, went to Mali, Ghana, Togo, Benin, Niger, Nigeria. The Sahel zone is an awful place. I couldn't handle it very much with the poor, you know. 40 kids coming to running to you and they want a piece of you. And I am got the mon money in my pocket. Uh, that, at that time, that really didn't go very well with my brain. Uh, so, uh, the motorcycle had to go through the desert 1,780 kilometers with no water, no petrol, no nothing. Just uh, one army checkpoint. They treated us like shit. And uh, they wanted backshares, they wanted money and stuff like that. The, I had to put my hand on the table and he takes a glass and there was a black scorpion and he let it run around my hand just to see how scared I am. But I wasn't scared at all. Poor people, I met so many poor people still uh, yeah today I can handle it much better and, uh, so the plan was no on the, on that bike and it was only a 380 cc one cylinder Suzuki and I had a 120 liter petrol 60 liter water so it was overweighted with that stuff spare parts and a tire It was a fantastic trip. It was a real adventure, and you get adrenaline to the max. You know, that's what I like till today. So I managed that all, and um, now I decided to sit here, rent a room, and to sit here and sit here and sit here. Do nothing. That's not my life. So I got the Ural. And my plans were first, uh, I go now to Namibia and Botswana. But uh, on the west side, there is the Atlantic Ocean. So it brings a lot of cold. And in the night, it will go way below zero. It will be very cold. And that's not good for my leg. That's not good for my body. So I change my mind. And I go east to Mozambique. There is the Indian Ocean. And that's warm, warm, warm. And Mozambique, it's 3,800 kilometers long to the north, to the equator, because we are on the southern side of the world. So we go north to the equator. And that's what I want to do, and make experience, and see what's happened. I will update every week when possible, I'm not 
You have to forgive me. I'm not so good in an electronic sense. I got a, as you see, uh, 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 camera from Volcano. It's pretty good. It makes good, good uh, pictures and movies. Uh, but uh, the noise from the engine is too loud, so I need a microphone in my house. Off you go. And I wish you follow me on this channel. Be with me on the road and I explain the things to you and what happened and so on. This is a beautiful day to let you people know. May heaven protect you. God bless you. Bye bye.